Deviation started about nearly six years ago now at a small club in East London called Gramophone. It was all about sound, all about sort of creating, all about taste level. Yeah, it started by me just wanting to put on my own night, play the music that I love and invite the DJs from around the world that I really respect. I always wanted it to be the right place where I could play my music and sort of represent what I do on the radio, but also what I do as a club DJ and represent what Deviation's all about, really. I see it as like a responsibility, basically, if you're a music person. If you don't see the thing that you like, then create it. And that could apply to a label or a, or a song or a club night. So I just wanted to do the club that I wanted to go to. That was the simple manifesto. It's like create the night that you would want to go to. And also, crucially, create the night that you can't just pass on like you had to be there. Jude is, or Judah, I should say, is like, he's like, he's kind of a reflection of the crowd. Do you know what I mean? He kind of like breaks the ice, makes sure people feel welcome, which is what a real good MC should do. And then my team, my core team of Zainab and Alice. It's very biased to say, but it's very true. It's like one of the only club nights that I can go to where I, as soon as I walk into it, I'm just like, okay, sick, this is amazing, the vibe is right. The lighting's right, everything just feels comfortable, it feels at home. Somewhere where we can go and enjoy the music that we want to hear. Yeah. It's a night for us. Alice Moxie came to me as a DJ wanting to do work experience. It just organically grew into her being a part of the Deviation team because she's great. Zainab is like the self secret weapon of Deviation, like she's amazing. She moves in silence but she's like pretty deadly in a good way. She gets a lot of stuff done. It's sort of a love project in a lot of ways for us. Yeah, the work that they do is amazing and um, I'm really happy to have them as part of my squad. The question is like, how much of a part does it take up in my life? Well, put it this way, it's once a month and I've never missed one. The growth of Deviation all the way through the last six years, through the venues to where we are now at XOYO is completely natural and it's been a really organic sort of process. We spend a lot of time sort of really getting the lineups right. Like tonight, in my opinion, one of the most talented, skillful DJs in the world, J Rock, is going to be spinning and one of my favourite music selectors and nicest guys I know in music and also a great creator of music on his label, Code 9. You know, bringing those two people together and then also adding into the mix someone like ASAP Ferg who, you know, we've been playing his tune down here a lot and, you know, be able to put him on for his first UK show, it's like, for me it's beautiful to be able to bring all of those styles together in a way that really works. London is like crucial to deviation because obviously we've got parties around the world now, but our residency is here and deviation is my night, like it's my vision. What can I say? Like it's created by me and I'm created by London. That's the best way to say it. Basically any good club night to me is about trust. With Deviation, that applies even more because the music that we book is so varied. But the concept is, is that if I really like, you know, and respect certain music and can appreciate it all, then I think that my audience can as well, and that's why they come. So basically, the concept being that, you know, maybe you're a househead, but you never really listen to hip hop that much. Well, I love both, so we play both as long as it has that particular sort of deviation flavour to it, you know. I want to create the environment where the 18-year-old version of me is gonna come in and go, yes, like, and go home and make a beat, or go and start buying records, or wanna get into music, and do something that has sort of a long-term investment in culture, instead of some transient, kind of like, flash in the pan thing that no one will remember in a few years' time. Most notably, I think the first birthday was just one of those if you were there moments that people still come up to me in the street and talk about. It was wild, like on both floors. It just was one of those like everything brilliant about this city encapsulated all in one night. 
the position deviation takes up in my life is very, very important. I take it seriously and for me, it's the best place to play in the world.